When a woman doesn't look the same, act the same, and think the same way as everybody else, she's going to be looked at as an oddball out, especially if you're a black woman. If you dare to be an introverted black woman, if you dare to be a woman of faith, if you dare to be a deeper thinker, you're going to be looked at as if you have some kind of mental deficiency. You're going to be looked at as if, oh, you're corny. Oh, you're trying to do this. Oh, you're trying to do that. And as a leveled up, confident, feminine woman, you have to understand that your uniqueness, your authenticity, that is what makes you uniquely you. That is what makes you so magnetic and attractive to the opposite gender. That is what makes you such a powerhouse and makes you such an influential woman in the world. But if you constantly fight against that and you do things to blend in with the rest of them, you will soon find yourself not having any authenticity and now you're trying to live a life that everybody else says you should live opposed to the life that you would truly like to live. See, understanding and growing as a woman is understanding that what the masses tend to do is typically wrong. The things that everybody else is doing in droves are typically the things that don't last long, the things that don't make for a fulfilling life. You see, luxury and peace and softness and all these different things it truly doesn't come from the things that you can purchase. It comes from your intrinsic value as a woman. And when you are a deeper thinker that way and you think about luxury and life and peace as inner qualities and not just things you can buy, people say that you're being fake or either they look at that as a fake life, a struggle life, a life that's unattainable, but purchasing a lot of things and doing a lot of stuff, that's more realistic. It's because people have this warped mentality now where what they see on social media is their reality and their real life is just as chaotic and basic and bothered as ever. But when women who are truly and who truly have the mindset of evolving, of making an impact in the world, of being more powerful and influential, that woman understands that she cannot get ahead in life being like everybody else. And that's where separation comes in. You see, when you choose to separate yourself for a season, when you cho choose to just focus on yourself and clear out the voices that are constantly coming at you, whether that be people in person, whether it be on social media, whether it be on TV, we have a lot thrown at us all at once as women, especially if you are a woman that works out in the working world. And because of that, we often don't have time to just settle in with ourselves and see who and what we want to be. We're always reaching out to other people for them to tell us how to be and we lose ourselves in the process. And that's why I normally tell women, you know, to have a whole bunch of people around you all the time is really not healthy because while we were built for relationships, you have to know how to be strong, mentally strong and resilient on your own because people change. And it's not to say that you go around being distrusting of other people. It's not to say that you don't feel like you have any kind of support system. But the fact of the matter is a lot of relationships, especially female relationships today, they go sour really fast. And a lot of times it's for absolutely no good reason. I mean, you can literally just do a little something better in life and suddenly your friend no longer wants to be your friend. You could be doing well on the job and those coworkers that you consider your friends are now looking at you a little funny. And that's not being negative, that is being real. So as a woman, as a confident, leveled up, wise woman, you have to understand how to be powerful and confident all on your own, as well as being that way when you're in the presence of other people. If you constantly depend on other people to prop you up, you will never be able to elevate to the type of lifestyle and the type of person that you want to be. Even as a woman of faith, God wants us to depend on him more than anything. And just to throw a little scripture at you in the moment, it says leaning on the arm of flesh is useless, meaning your all in all cannot be just people. You can't put your complete confidence in any person. That's just the reality. And I know that 
today a lot of people don't like reality talking a lot of people have followed this delusion that social media gives you that you know i'm that girl i'm in this society and all that kind of stuff but even once you reach that point there are still going to be people that can be snakes and that can cause you to stumble because they are now hating on you for the things that you have attained and if you are not the kind of woman who is wise you will fall for it and allow them to bring you down so this is a warning for women who aspire to do more in life, who aspire to have a more elevated type of lifestyle, be mindful of how much you depend on other people and how much you feel like you need propping up in order to do well in life. Now, I'm not talking about accountability as in being around people who will hold you to account, people who are supportive, people who want to see you do well. I'm talking about those people who have seen you in different phases of life and as you continue to grow, their demeanor towards you and the way they act towards you change as you change. Because unfortunately, like the old saying goes, everybody cannot go with you, especially when you are doing better in life. And that's why a lot of times it's best for you to cut your losses, especially when it comes to different friendships, because some of your friends, if you haven't noticed, they haven't changed since high school. They haven't changed since college. Their mentality is still the same. And when you are elevating as a woman, when you aspire to be better, your mindset is going to change. You're not going to think the same way the 18, 19 year old yourself used to think, or you shouldn't anyway. But being around people who have the spirit of stagnation they will hold you back more than anything else will. And when you constantly depend on those people because you are so used to their presence, you will allow them to stop you from going on to your future. So as a woman, it is important that you understand that you cannot be afraid to be alone for a little bit. Don't be so needy for people that you allow the wrong people into your life. I like to say, stop watering dead plants. There are some relationships that, you know, have ended or God has tried to separate us from certain people. And we keep trying to force ourselves around these people because we're familiar with them. We're used to them. But a lot of the things that we're used to are very toxic. They're very negative situations. And because of maybe your upbringing or the things that you're used to, you accept the abnormal as if it's normal. And if you want to do better for yourself, if you want to have a more peaceful life, you cannot continue to invite people into your life that stir up drama for you and cause problems for you. And that's including some people that you once called your friend. Because like I've said before, and this is the reason why I kind of advocate against these girls trips. Because on these girls trips, a lot of women truly find out who their friends are. You know, a lot of women, and I'm not saying if you have a good friend that you've known for years and years and years that you shouldn't go away with them. I'm saying that when you get in these groups of women that you barely know, they barely talk to you, it might not be a good idea for you to be leaving the country with that woman, all because you feel like you can save a few dollars on a trip. Um, your safety, your well-being is more important than anything. And when you don't try the spirit of the person that you're around, you can very much so, like many women have, put themselves in harm's way by going out of town or going out of the country with another woman that you do not know. See, unfortunately, a lot of women are haters. I'm not saying all women, of course, but I have to bring awareness. I feel like this is the season I am in right now for women to bring you awareness on how a lot of other women they are not your friends. They are not truly for you. And while many of us, many women are girls, girls, you have a lot of women who will smile in your face and the whole time they're plotting to take what you have or they're trying to copy your image to the point where you are no longer non-existent. You're existent. You're no longer relevant to whatever you're doing. It's like you have a lot of women like that. So when you take time to just get to yourself and move in a way where you can use confidence and wisdom, you pick and choose who to be around. You pick and choose quality over quantity. And you definitely think before you decide to leave the country with complete strangers. You know, if people don't treat you well, if they don't talk to you with respect in their voice, if they don't talk to you like they truly like you as a person, and a lot of women, I have to say this because it might sound weird, but a lot of women are friends with other women 
who are really mean to them. They talk to them in any kind of way. You know, I've heard so many conversations of women calling each other by out of their name. And for me, it's like, if you're my friend, you're not calling me out of my name. Like, I just don't accept that. Maybe I'm old school, but I just don't accept that. Like, I'm not a four-legged dog. Don't call me that. I'm not a guardian tool. Don't call me that. But you have a lot of women in this day where they accept that as normal. Or people are, you know, they don't have any boundaries. They like to cross the line into different areas of your life that you don't invite them to. But you say, well, it's just them. You have no boundaries. You have no standards. So I think in order for a woman to truly have healthy friendships and to have a healthy life, you must figure out who you are first as a woman and how you want to operate in the world so that now you're not distracted by those things you once thought were normal. Because being mistreated, being talked down to, being frowned upon, all those things are not normal. And when I say these things, I don't say this out of judgment. I say this because for a long time, I didn't have boundaries. For a long time, I thought that allowing women to talk to me like they're my, you know, superior and I'm inferior to them was normal. Like some kind of faux reverence for these people when in reality... A lot of times the people that we feel like we need to give the most respect to are the most messiest individuals possible, which would be their business unless they weren't trying to put you down at every moment they get. You see, the people who are the messiest tend to be the ones who put people down the most. The women who are doing all of these mischievous things tend to be the ones who are putting people down the most. So as a woman, when you begin to realize that and you really assess who you are as a woman and your value, you no longer accept those things. So as women, just be mindful of, you know, spending time alone. And don't become so heavily dependent on other people to where you don't know how to be on your own. Get time with yourself. Spend time with God, you know, and really understand who you want to be in the world so that people don't just tell you who to be. All right. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this till the very end, Put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.